Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome all Transformers and fans here at Deceptions for Family. Welcome all in the next video from uh, how to play like a boss series. Today we're gonna look into Dinobot. Uh, this is that's the the bot from the newest Fighter Batch. Uh, it was quite few people who uh, who didn't like the you know the the choice from Space A. They didn't like the bot and. Yeah, they 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 they, they don't understand really how to use him, and they just saying basically whatever using his ability, uh, he's gonna die. He's you know he's pulling everything to the front. Uh, it is yes and no. It is the matter to understand his ability, understand his weakness, and just avoid it. Simply avoid it. Simply don't do this. Okay. So let's first uh, check. Uh, Dinobot itself. So it's free, uh, free tanks quite popular for the uh, popping out balls, for the creating the distractions, getting extra meat in. Uh, so Dinobot Soundwave and Blot. Uh, let's start from the Blot. He's gonna have 35k health with his decoy together. We're gonna have around let's say 50,000. Some 55, uh, so not a lot. Uh, 400 damage because decoy not doing any damage only when he's close, and you can pop a certain amount of area with his halo. Okay, uh, cost of it is I think the same, exactly the same to all of them. Then we got the sound wave, uh, half 33k with four minions with uh, 50k health. That would be over 100,000 uh, health on uh, in the battle from the Soundwave and his minions then DPS is 440 for him plus uh, 83 times 4 so let's say it is almost around 1300 DPS uh, from Soundwave and his minions and then we've got Dinobot Dinobot which I uh, I put a little bit different cores and combats. I think it's fitting perfectly uh, him. But anyway, half normally without a uh, vitality G metal, he will have 37k health. So with his decoys together, they're gonna put around 75k health. So more than blood, less than sound wave, and then damage they're gonna. Uh, 400 from him and 400 from decoys, but because they attack 25% faster, it's 500 from decoys, 400 from him, so it will be 900 together. But after using uh, for 15 seconds, he is doing 2600 damage uh, per second, so it's like a Reaper's Knuckle on steroids. So for the 15 seconds, he's gonna do 3100 damage. Then, uh, course and combat. Uh, in case I would keep Sandway from my team, I really love uh, Quintus and Pterodactyl combo on Sandwave. I wouldn't change it, I wouldn't touch it. So, this is a second uh, combination for Dinobot, which is basically because of this, right? Uh, blocking 25% of damage and then creating Halos. For 32% of health, so 32% of health, so Halo is gonna have 10,000 health and they're for free. And then Dinobot itself, you're gonna have something around 53,000 health because he basically blocking all damage 25% of all damage. So that means he would have like 25% 25 more health. 
So in this case, it's 53,000 uh, of health. Together with his uh, decoys, it will be 95,000 of health. So more than a lot, a little bit less than Soundwave. And then DPS is yes or no. You know, it depends if, if he's on his alt mode and doing his ability or not. But that's the Dinobot, what we've got for now. So what to do really with uh, Dinobot? Importance is is to don't use his ability as far as it's possible. You don't use him to pop the combiners and outposts. Because what will happen as you know some people said that already, you're gonna use a Dinobot, pop him to the front, he's gonna rush and follow the halos, he's gonna start losing health, your healer is gonna go to the front, start healing him. But it will be too late because he's in the middle of the base. Dinobot dying, your healers turning around to heal the rest of the team. Healers dying, and then your team dying. Right? Simple as you know as it is. But then, just why you should pop him to the front? I mean, how I found to use him, I just pop his Alos in the line of my tanks. So this is like an extra destruction together with sound wave to keep them in the line don't send them to the front don't send them for die don't send you know my healers to die just use a dinobot just in the line and just in a key situation when i need destruction so let's do guys uh, so that's the team which i'm usually uh going instead of dinobots i'm usually using the uh, a school smasher and then instead of blast off, I'm using Shutter Blast Thundercracker. But just for this uh, situation, I change Thundercracker for blast off for cheap and shot, just to take out the building boss and shield gen to be able to fit Dinobot in. I could get rid of the Megatron, but then I need to put my Chrono somewhere, and I really like Megatron for uh, for the for his uh, ability. So let's let's go and let's do the base trial. Combiner engaged. Now reap the world. So as usual guys, what I'm doing I'm taking care of the building both the fourth field disruptors. Just to make sure I can use cutthroat, use smoke, get some more protection in. That's how I'm rolling, guys. So then we're gonna put smoke here, this one here, a little bit of healing and shield gen. Unfortunately, he triggered the. Uh, uh, the mine, but it's fine. So we're gonna use just here in the front line, guys, to don't go too deep there. We're gonna pop the out the combiner now, which is that's what we want, but keeping them all in the line okay we don't rush with dinobots too far away we keep them in a the line with our bots okay let's take this one out just to assure it of the good dps on it Then let's take this one out. Okay, so both men DSs are here. Not big deal. Uh, and rush them to the MDS. I'm gonna put the smoke here. 
protect us a little bit well. Okay, and now we've got Pop's Dinobots as well. Ah yeah, should be, should be fine. Leo Kaiser should die at the second. And the second, come on, Leo Kaiser. Okay. Obviously, we need to pop everything that's possible, but we're gonna use, we're gonna deploy more minions, speed up everything, because there's no point in really to spend time on with Metropolis. Crypticon loose, but it should be fine. Should be fine to go, and then let's use Dinobot, which apparently is on the full full health. Didn't die, right? So it is possible. It is possible to keep him alive, and it's just it's just simple, guys. You know, you know his ability. I mean, most of the bots which you got, uh, you know, the weaknesses, and you're avoiding them. And using them on a certain situations, right? The same with Dinobot. But I think, I, I mean, I will pull very soon uh, some 5 star uh, crystals. I'm definitely gonna go for Dinobot. And if this, I mean, this team, I've got feeling that have not enough DPS. I really like as well Shattergrass Thundercracker on my team to take the, those MDSs. But then, I don't have really much, much, much space there. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like I'll have to take out Megatron, but I don't want. Take out Shockwave, but I don't want. I don't want. I don't know. But this team, guys, four tanks, two jets, two healers, doing job. Uh, Dinobots with this setup, crazy amount of health and crazy survivability so thank you guys for watching um, if you like the video please uh, leave the comments like and subscribe um, i'm hoping guys you're gonna pull dinobot and you're gonna give him a try because he is brilliant brilliant bot brilliant tank i would say easily he can go together with sandwave and easily he's better than blocks so one more time guys, thank you for watching and till the next time.